Hello everyone, Alfred Monty here, and today, who are we going to be playing? We're gonna be playing Tainted Apollyon with Abyss. Now hopefully we actually get some terrible items so I can demonstrate some of Tainted Apollyon's special features. We'll see in a second here. Let me get rid of these poops. Like this, for example, this is an item I do not care about. We'll go ahead. We can use it for now, why not? And then. You kind of want 10 cents? Once we get 10 cents, I'll show you what we can do. So you see that I have that red fly there that just kind of moves in the direction that I'm shooting. Well, that's one of the abyss flies that Tainted Apollyon is able to create. Can this destroy the donation machine? Let's see if we can. Nope, that's fine. I don't get to use that active item for the boss, but that should be fine. Uh, I don't expect the first boss to be particularly difficult. You see how the fly by itself doesn't really do that much damage, so I'm hoping I can show you this so that I can demonstrate a little bit more. So you see, I don't really care about the speed up right now, I don't care about the shot speed, so what I can do is I can abyss this item, and I have an extra fly. So let's see, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get enough money to get the terrible active I am in the shop, so we'll just go. Okay, start, okay, start. Okay. And I tend to like using the flies with Tainted Apollyon, just because that's what the character is about. Even if it's not the most optimal, I think it's going to be more fun to do. That's why we play Isaac, great, right? Just to have fun. Okay. Let's just keep going this direction. I think what I'll do is I think I'll go into the curse room, force myself to get one red heart from the damage without losing my devil deal. Now let's check this out. If this gives us soul hearts, great. If not, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna take the stapler because flies scale off of damage. One of the things that I wish they did with the flies is, if you guys remember my Bethany video, uh, there were wisps that I believe in 
inherited the effects of the active items that you had. What I wish they would have done with Tinted Apollyon is if they leaned a little more towards the flies inheriting things from every item, in my opinion, because that would have been a lot cooler. Like, for example, if it was like a movement speed item, the flies might move a little faster. If it was a tier effect item, it might come back to you and fire from you faster, stuff like that. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. I don't know if there is a way mod for that. I am very much into the whole modding scene. So if you guys know any mods like that, I would be more than happy to try uh, mods like that. Or if you guys have any mods you would like for me to showcase, I would also be down. And I would like the soul hearts, so I keep my angel and double the chances. So we're just gonna do that. I'm just lazy, so we're just going to use the active item here, and we'll see what's up here. I think it's worth it now. Let's see. I'm hoping we get four more cents. We have a few more rooms. Maybe I'm being too optimistic, but... I feel like it should be easy enough to get a little bit more money. These are fine. Yeah, it looks like the flies can put out fires if I actually know how to aim. And this, more keys. Honey? Hey, there we go. I can show you the one trick you could do with active items. Oh, uh, with Abyss. What I'm gonna do is pick this up and just abyss both and now i have four flies at this point so i gain two flies from that and i no longer have an active item because you're able to avoid things that you are holding in your hands which is a little neat trick i should go back and retrieve that special rock it was somewhere there was a special rock right i'm not mistaken yeah it was right here Okay. You know what? That's a lot of health for me, and I do not plan on taking devil deals this time. But I feel like with this amount of flies, we should be okay. Um, mm, where, where, where does I grab this and go? Because I would like to make boss rush if possible. I am a boss rush enjoyer if I can help it. Sometimes I just get a little distracted on these runs because I'm just having a good time normally. Okay, so I'm happy we got the damage up because that scales with the flies very nicely. Call to cross, I would definitely miss that. Curious, so we'll go in here. Sharp plug is a good item. I don't really care about this. Keeper, I'm upset at you unless you drop something half decent. A little bit of money. Well, at least that gave me a room charge, so I can just take this item now. It does give Seraphim transformation progress. But I don't care in particular. I don't, I don't really care either way about Seraphim at this point. I do care about that a bit of damage, though. Should have been paying attention. That's okay. I'm just gonna use that now, just to not think about it. That's a wrong way to go about it, Isaac. You should generally think about what you're doing, and oh my goodness, that range. That's okay, we can do range of our own. So I hope everyone's day is going great. Hope everyone is having, this should get posted on a Sunday. I hope everyone's happy, having a happy Sunday. Let's see. 
I don't think I've ever seen this room before. This might be one of the new rooms they added. I'm sure, it is. That would be sick. Don't know how I didn't get it there. It's fine. Land, dude. Blood clot. Come back. I only get one of these. Soul locket would be fun, but Halo is Halo. I'm gonna respect it. I wish I kind of wish I had a bomb, but it's fine. I'll take the all stats up. Let's let blood climb just go. Rockin' and rolling. Let's see. So I need to do a better job with my upload schedule at this point in time. This should get uploaded. I do like uploading my videos at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Looks like it's worth it. It's not, it's not too early, it's around like lunchtime where I feel like a lot of people would be potentially on their breaks watching videos, like watching whatever, like whenever they're eating food. Like, I just feel like 11 o'clock is just like pretty okay time, at least in my opinion. So if you guys think uh, there would be a better upload time for these videos, please let me know. Uh, any criticism. I am very much open to. And also, I'll probably upload an extra Baldur's Gate video. So let me know if you guys receive that well or not. I would very much appreciate all the feedback that I can get. Can't be very interesting. Is about to make me there's just something about those spiders man I don't know if they're called like trites or what but there's something about them that just gets to me man uh, might as well blow this up it's not too four and a half volt just seems like a bad idea overall dreamcatcher though I am a fan Room could be here. And also a nice little feature of the flies is that they, they I mean the flies have flight, so they avoid all obstacles, which can make them a little bit better than your tears. I'm a little dumpy, uh, you gotta respect them. Good item. Fantastic I am all around. Absolutely no problems with Dumpy. It is the poor man's holy mantle and can sometimes be better because you can use them multiple times in a single room. I'm not gonna take the pill. I am still not a pill believer, at least not yet. Uh, if you guys happen to play the game, uh, let me know your guys' best and worst experiences with pills. I will say my least favorite experience is whenever you take a pill while inside of an active room and you end up having to be 
and you end up having to just take uh, extra damage that you don't necessarily need to because you did not need to take the paralysis part. Damage up, gotta take that, go. Okay. Yep, we're making pretty good time here. Then that's trinket, might as well take it. So I'm just feeling it there. That was right. Ooh. Nope. Not an abyss that. These sections have been showing up very frequently in the last few runs. It just feels like that because for me, uh, I did multiple uh, Tainted Lilith runs, so I'm a little bit biased in how I'm viewing how often she appears, uh, how often C-section appears, but let's see. I'd go with damage by candle all the way. Okay. The main thing I want to get is does this work with it does work. Oh, those look freaking weird. That's just funny. Do this. We're not gonna take Void because we are not Apollyon. That would be what you call uh, a flavor fail, as it were. And then I'm gonna abyss both of these to get two flies. I'm not gonna open that chest. We're gonna roll. Alright. Yeah, we're making great time. Remember these spikes, as long as the buttons are up, I do not believe they can hit you. You only need to primarily worry once. Once the buttons are pressed down. Be pressed as it were. Right. So we just need to find the tinted skull with the full card as well as the mom fight or if we're desperate just the mom fight we're skipping the middle round whatever is necessary That has a special interaction. We have a fancy blue fly. We'll get a name of Navi, I think. We'll see if it's particularly good. I can't tell the difference yet. 
Oh, mm. The time. On the item room. I don't think we're able to do the shock. It's fine. So you do see what I mean, where some of the flies have IM interactions. That's not 100% consistent. That's how it's supposed to work. We have so much health, we'll take the damage up. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take this. Take this for passive damage. We'll just void this. We'll abyss this. Here. What is it? Cancer. Yeah, that's kind of the just by far the best thing in here. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. Pay attention, that's fine. that the angel took care of that for us and if you guys want me to skip things like boss rush uh just let me know in the comments down below just so the video times could be a little bit uh i guess a little bit more condensed for your viewing pleasure uh, if you guys like boss rush and like seeing the action then just let me know uh i, I just want to deliver good content for y'all just so you know, we can have a little bit more consistency with these videos, I guess, is probably how you would put it. Contact. Yeah, that's just a good item. I'll take it. And then off we go. Right, and I'll probably record a video right off the back of this one. I forget which character is next, but I don't think it should be that bad. And I think I've decided I'm not going to be doing the modded characters unless uh, people directly request them. Uh, because I think I'm uh, moving on to something like new game modes, uh, like daily runs or greedier would be more beneficial. Or just moving on to new mods in general. 
Uh, we might also be able to do a fresh save file as well. Uh, I'm just trying to come up with a bunch of ideas for what we can do with uh, the channel going forward. But we could also do new games as well. I've been thinking about Risk of Rain 2 at this point. And also, there's still Spelunky. I know I've brought that up in prior videos because a viewer mentioned it. And getting like a reaction, or I guess uh, first impressions of the game. I think could be entertaining. I think it could be fun. Excuse me, I had a hiccup. So I feel like this run at this point is in the bag. I guess the question is how much is in the bag, I would say. Like how much winning are we at, at this point? Oh, so I haven't noticed too many impactful curses at least. Let's see, hold on. Is that the secret room? Looks like it is. We'll bomb in here. And just higher chance. Uh, thank you, mom's contact. I do not care enough about that chest. Probably drop in there, but I think we're fine. Oh, you. you up? Oh, actually, a hundred percent. know that some people might be interested in like item showcases but that's something we could definitely do uh, I feel like that could be a little fun uh, to explore like various items trinkets stuff like that and look at various synergies because I know there's a lot of items that people don't a hundred percent understand Okay, hold up. Dark Prince's crown. Does that work? It does work. Great. He's hairball. Guppy's pretty unlikely. I'm not even gonna bother. Guppy is cool, but I think Guppy's overrated, man. I mean, it, it's great to get it. And also, uh, I've been forgetting about Dreamcatcher this entire time, but that's okay. Um. We'll take all of those with Abyss. Ghost Pepper, little portal. We'll take Ghost Pepper no matter what. Okay. Yes, some other transformation. So we're gonna start here, get three flies. Here, get one fly. We'll get them on transformation, why not? I gotta take the pills, but the transformation is nice. We'll go for it. I have a lot of flies. Looks like 
Hush is indeed melting from the triple C-section shots as well as from the flies. I actually don't know what would be doing more damage at this point. Hit hush. That just brings a tear to my eye. Okay. I think we'll just go. I don't really want to fight Delirium. I don't. Uh, I believe I've said before. I could find the fight cheap in the best of time. So I'm just gonna not bother with that. Then I'm guessing that Satan is this way. Okay, I was completely wrong. Good intel, good to know. The money doesn't do too much at the moment, it's so nice to have. I don't want to blow up that skull, so I'd like to see what these might have, and let's see. Not okay. See, it looks like we're just ripping and tearing right through. Oh my goodness. I will say that feels absolutely great. Let's see. I do like the little sprite they have for the lamb there. I think that does look pretty cool. And I have the occult. I really don't want to give away the red heart because of Dark Prince's crown. So. So we're just gonna keep the red hearts and just go schmoovin'. If I thought that far ahead, we probably would have just went for um, I'm gonna pin that train of thought because we got Tech X. Sinus infection too. You got like three god tier items in a row. Hello? Dunce cap with C section is insane because it's essentially 2020 with no downside. Hungarian? There we go. Suck you up. Oh also, I will say, don't be with perfection it is just a flawless combo and now we'll never lose it because we have hourglass the priestess shirt sure. does nothing for me that's okay should have abyssed that immediately when i recognize that we'll abyss you in a bit
So I don't normally do victory laps, but... We'll do a victory lap for this one, I think. I think this will be the first victory lap of the channel, so... If you guys don't know anything about victory laps... The general gist is that you still take the full heart of damage. You have the flag right next to the difficulty marker on the top left hand corner. And you normally just do this for, I guess, bragging purposes slash achievement purposes is the most notable thing. This is definitely not necessary for any normal run, but I just think this is going to be fun since we have a really, really broken set of those points. And then let's take a break. I can actually avoid that. I avoided that. Good. And then let's go. And then what I end up normally doing is finding the sack room just to finish off the victory laps if possible. It might not be a sack room, but if it shows up, I'll do it. Just to keep things a little bit timely. Good. Just the same. I don't feel like camo on G's. do is this, see if we want to take this. Yes. And then, at this point, we should just do this. We have two twisted pairs. We'll go back for that soul heart. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, since we have Hourglass, but... Well, I want that card. Just go! Oh, it was... Wait here real quick. Uh, we're definitely gonna avoid that if we see it. Planetarium? Yeah. We got the extra Planetarium chance, by the way, from... Sausage, actually. So you can think sausage for the planetarium opportunity. That up. That's so Judas, I think, is gonna be more abyss that. luck in this game. Underrated stat in my opinion. Luck in a lot of cases is more important than damage. Let's see. Still no Saturn, which I'm surprised by. Oh, it looks like we got our Dark Prince's crown back, which that's hype. Still no sack room. Let's check real quick. I feel it could be there. Is there? So just to be a little lazy, I'm gonna use this as like a shortcut through the rest of the map. So heart. 
not gonna bo I'm not gonna bother with those chests. Okay. Again, I would love to see a sack room because cancer, after you take the first uh, instance of damage, all of your other damage will be halved. Which will make the sack room very much important for getting to the dark room. Is. I would like to at the very least show you guys. Asia, okay, perfect. I like to show you guys if we can get enough sack rooms. We can show you what happens when we get to the third instance of a victory lap. Because you can do multiple victory laps in a row. And I would like to show that. If the opportunity arises, if we end up knocking a sack room, period, then we're not going to bother. My gut's telling me we're probably not going to get another one, but... Another luck up. Again, we'll never say no to one. Check over here real quick. Could be. Nope. I feel like I'm getting a little unlucky here. Uh, I should not pick that up. I can fix it, I guess. Okay, that'll, that'll fix itself for next floor because I'll, I should. Only have one red heart. Then, actually, if I get the double deal, I can just give away the red heart. So, you know what? That's, this should be fine. No harm, no foul. Take that. Up in here. That is brimstone. Okay. I don't see Brimstone working. I'm too lazy to do this room. Brimstone does not work. Yep, we're just doing this room. I don't know if Brimstone's giving me extra damage or not. I'm gonna assume not. And yeah, I'm just gonna go. You know what? Let's go here. Because we got the negative from the last run. Let's go fight these. Which I think will be a little fun. Change of pace. I know we fought Beast relatively recently. I really hope this gives us two items. It does. Clear me room. More flies. And I'm not going to care too much about the free extra life you get from the beast fight if you have a red key piece. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, we're more than strong enough to deal with literally anything the fight could go our way. Uh, hold on. This, can you get soft lock in this room?
if you get rid of that, assuming you don't, I mean, I, you could technically just die in this room. If you don't have enough HP. Man. If that happened to me, I'd be a little salty, but it's just a random miscellaneous room, so I wouldn't be gone. Just get too concerned, it. I guess. How can you have spent our savings? Mm, nah, I'm, just, I'm not even gonna stop for that. So. I want the item room. Kane's other eye. It's like another. It's like. Is it Incubus? Succubus? I don't remember. It's like another familiar that shoots your same tears. Oh, yes. Interesting, but unnecessary. This one too. First time we went through this fight, I believe I was gushing about the Excelsior uh, music pack that was uh, that I have in the mod list, and I will say again that uh, the music is absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend go ahead and subscribe to that mod in the Steam Workshop, assuming you have Isaac on. Uh, Steam on PC. If you don't, you can just listen to a third party. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, these mod creators, man. Yeah, I was just stretch there. But these mod creators are honestly something else. Uh, the time and dedication they put into all of their work is absolutely astounding. I would say one of my current favorite mods is actually probably the Red Baby mod right now. That has a lot of work in it, it has a lot of collectibles. Uh, I do like Chanted Red Baby and all of its various firing modes. I'm sorry. Which I have found to be really interesting. I'm sorry, Isaac. But if you want to find out more about that, then You'll have to let me know if that would be something you guys are interested in. You're done, son. Okay. What? I did not know that's how the hourglass worked in this fight. Just turned it into a default. This is slow. It's just run. Normal. Oh,
these bosses are melting like butter. I will say that I've actually been I've been playing the Binding of Isaac Four Souls card game recently, and the card game version of these characters are a lot more challenging. They're not even close. But hey, that was a pretty entertaining run. Oh, that first uh, run through was fantastic, and the victory lap I really did enjoy. So, if you guys want to see more content like this, if you, please leave a comment and like so that I know what you guys want to watch. And make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get more notifications of all of my newest content. If you want to see mod showcases, if you want me to do daily runs, if you want me to do greed mode, or if you want me to play a variety of other roguelites or any other games in general, please feel free to let me know and uh, we can work something out so that we can play games for your enjoyment. So everyone have a wonderful rest of your days. Have a good one. Bye.